Hey, how you doing today? We're going to be working on a 3 inch PVC pipe hydroponic garden today. And I hope everything works out. There's a lot of kids and stuff in the neighborhood, a lot of people doing yard work. It's a little cool today, so it's a good day to get out and work on it. So I'm going to show you some of the things that you're going to need. Be right back. Okay, I uh, tried to explain to you guys on a different video about these bits. You're going to need several different sizes depending on what you're doing. So it's better to buy this kit that has all the different sizes in it because you're going to pay 11 or $12 for one if you buy a single or you can buy this whole kit for $12. So it's better to buy this whole kit. You're going to need a drill and you're going to need, uh, this is a three quarter inch bit. You're going to need a level. Um, let's see. You're going to need a caulking gun with some caulking. Uh, possibly you're going to need a skill saw if you have to build the whole frame and everything. And uh, you're going to need, I'm using this. You get it from the hardware store. It's a watertight fitting. A uh, half inch here, three quarter inch here. And also I use these rubber grommets, and I'm going to show you where they go in a minute. So that's uh, uh, that's about it that I can show you here. I'm going to move the camera and I'll show you some other stuff. Uh, some of the stuff, uh, you know, you're going to need these hangers. You're going to need 3 inch PVC pipe. You're going to need end caps. Um, I can't show you the whole thing or anything because it kind of shoots the neighbor's house and I don't want to get them upset by showing their house. But this this pipe that comes in here, a lot of people use PVC. I'm using the same black, black plastic that I'm going to use for the pump and everything. And what a lot, a lot of people want to show you, I left it on here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, let me check the cameras. Hold on a second. You don't want any water leakage, so when you get done putting it all together, take some cheap caulking, whatever you got laying around the house, and just caulk the outside of these and then caulk the end of the caps. Don't glue the caps, that way you can take it off later if you need to do something and adjust these or whatever you need to do. But just use some caulking and lightly caulk it. This one, you don't need to caulk this in because the water is just dropping down into this one. Then it'll run down to the other end and do the same thing down here and drop into this pipe. So this is the other end of the pipe. This is where the, the black tube is going to come in and the water supply is going to go in here. That's going to run down this pipe to the other end where I was just showing you. And then it's going to come back down to this end. Same thing here, it's going to drop down in this pipe into this one and then run back down into the water bucket where we keep our solution with the fertilizer and everything we need to keep the plants going. Um, okay, I'll hold on and show you some of this. Okay, and what I've done is I've drilled these holes 12 inches apart. Now if you have a plant that's going to be real big, you can just cover one of these and do every other one. You don't have to do every one. But for small plants and stuff, I like to have them only 12 inches apart. And in that way, I get the most use out of my pipe. So with three pipes here, 10 feet long, you're going to get 27 plants in here. This is some of my plants that I've gotten started that I'm going to be transplanting. And uh, this is tomatoes. This is squash. And over here, this is tomatoes. And in my box inside, I'm going to show you in just a second, I've got a bunch of lettuce and some bell peppers growing. But I'm going to go show, I'll, I'll go show you now. Okay, this is my makeshift light that I made because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on their uh, they're light, but anyway, this is the, the cover that I usually put on it when I'm germinating the seed. Don't need it right now because the seeds are germinating and the plants are growing. Now, just take this off, get it out of the way over here if I can. And then, this is what I have growing in here. And we've got tomato plants, we've got this is a bunch of bell pepper plants that I didn't think were going to come up that you'll see in another video that 
they hadn't come up. That's a week later and they've come up. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, the parsley and the lettuce, the dill came up, but it's not doing too good. The dill. I don't know what's the deal with the deal. Um, the broccoli is doing okay. It's starting to do okay. And um, the basil is looking really good. So, so we got a good variety of stuff here that when it gets done, you can have uh, you know your salads right out of your garden. And once you put these in those three-inch pipes out there and get the water circulating with with the fertilizer in it and adjust the pH the way you need it then you're just uh, you just set it and forget it and watch it grow and reap the reap the vegetables and whatever it can, that you have growing so good luck with your garden and I'll see you on my next video